What if I tell you that going for a 99 during double experience might not actually be the best use of your 48 hours of double experience? Let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Javelk here and today we're going to be talking about the best use of your 48 hours of double experience in the upcoming and obviously future double experience events. Uh, before we get into this video though, definitely, definitely join into the conversation in the comment section down below. If you found a good method that worked for you, if you have some advice for people who are trying to max, um, definitely, definitely leave it down below. I will try to pin as many comments as I can. So if you're interested, definitely go and scroll down as well. If you're looking on extra tips on how to max and go read what the genius people that usually comment on my videos. That sounds very sarcastic, but it generally isn't. Um, I have to say also leave a like on this video it generally really helps me out share it with a friend who's trying to max subscribe if you're new and without further ado let's get into it so first things first who is this guide aimed for this is not aimed obviously at people who are max because well you don't need a max cape that's quite obvious but it's also not aimed at ultra rich or just rich players i'm not assuming you have a one bill bank or something i'm assuming your bank is between around 100 to 250 maybe 300 million gp uh, not a liquid ca cash, but just in GP and just in general. So like the genuine mid-level player that has like a couple of 90 stats, a few 80 stats and the majority of 70 stats where you start thinking, hmm, maybe I should start working on a max K because a max K is just very useful. Just having everything 99 is just incredible in this game. Like it generally, generally really helps you out. So just keep that in mind. This is not aimed at ultra rich people. I'm not going to give you like the ultra fast methods or like the best methods in the game. I'm just going to give you some basic tips so you can make a plan for yourself because every account is different and everyone has different types of goals some people just want a pvm and for those people i just say focus on herb lore don't do prayer because prayer is not affected during double experience so always keep that in mind prayer is not affected by during by double experience so you're literally wasting double experience time but for people who just want a pvm get your herb lore to 96 or even higher if you definitely if you particularly want the overloads and that's it but let's get to the first piece of advice that i want to give you focus on the skills that you do not enjoy and it might probably sound weird to some of you guys right you're probably thinking why would i do the things that i do not enjoy but if you really think about it right if you do the skills that you do not enjoy they're over twice as quick let's say divination is the skill that you absolutely hate and you're not doing caches which is a daily that you can do twice a day which will net you about 100k every single day so over time you will get um 99 just by doing a daily that takes 10 minutes each so like 20 minutes a day you get 100k experience definitely definitely a good way but let's say you don't enjoy it go train divination during double experience because that makes it easier and quicker to complete and you don't have to worry about it anymore when you go for max because the worst thing is when you're going for max and the last skill you have to do is the skill that you absolutely hate. Let's say you hate woodcutting, which we'll touch up on later because that is something that will actually cross my own rules with. We'll get into it. But let's say you hate woodcutting and you're not going to do the method I'm going to be talking about later. Um, you'll be looking at 90k an hour. Um, if you're around level 80 right now to 99, it will take over 100 hours. Yes, I'll give you a very cool example later, but just for an example now, that ain't the one, bro. So go focus on woodcutting, for example. So don't do the skills that you enjoy during double experience because you enjoy them. So them taking a little bit longer might not actually be a bad thing. Same with things that make ridiculous amounts of money. You might want to consider putting that off for non-double experience because you're making money trading a skill. That is sick. Um... And that kind of brings me into my next point as well. Stay away from fast skills. Like anything that is fast or makes money, as I said, you kind of don't want to be doing. Um, for example, combat skills. Don't do them during double experience. You can get a million experience off double experience if you just go eight ED3 trash runs. Like it's literally a way to do that during double XP. Yeah, you'll be done quicker. And as I said, if your main focus is only combat, be my guest and go train your combat stats. But in general, it's a bit of a way. Same with thieving. Thieving is a ridiculously fast skill if you go safe cracking, um, which can go up to like seven, eight hundred k experience an hour at the highest levels. It's not worth doing that during double experience because it is fast as it is. Um, the same goes with like things that make money. Like cooking is, I think, the best hybrid of that. Like on the higher levels with rocktails um, 
blue blobber jellyfishes, um, sailfish, etc. Definitely always look up the pr current price because prices always fluctuate, especially during double experience when everyone is cooking or outside of during experience, like double experience. Like always look at the prices. But usually when I went to 99 cooking, for example, was off double experience during a yak track. I was making big, big money doing blue je blobber jellyfishes with cooking. And yes, it's slightly slower, but you're making money and you're getting decent experience i was getting like three four hundred k experience an hour doing cooking um so definitely go look at the skills that as i said you enjoy that are quick to do that you don't want to be doing during double experience and the things that make you money because as i said if you spend more time you make more money um you don't have to go in all the calculations like oh wow if i if i save like 10 hours i can make this much doing this boss well you can do that but um yeah uh that's that's that that's completely up to you next thing is and i think this to me is the most important tip out of all of them is get your skills into a good state for off double experience and that kind of alludes to my intro of this video as well going for 99 might not actually be the smartest thing to do and here's why you have 48 hours and if you have like base 80s or base 75s or whatever you are probably not going to max in one double experience. It's just not going to happen. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but that's just not going to happen. Um, unless you maybe have ridiculous amounts of money. But even then, I don't think you can do that within 48 hours. That's, that's just not going to happen. But for example, mining, fishing, and even rune crafting are very, very easy to get into a state where it's not really that bad to do with double experience. And these stats are going to be high, but yet again it's not 99 it's not even halfway to 99 well one is and that's fishing so with fishing you want to get 93 fishing and not 99 fishing waterfall fishing is super afk and it's between 130k experience when you start at the lowest end or 120k my bad and it goes up to all the way to 165 to 170k experience an hour um at the highest tier of waterfall fishing i think that's at level 97 or 96 or something um so it's AFK, you click once every five minutes, like literally, um, and it's quite quick. So definitely, definitely worth to do off double experience. Same goes with mining. Get to 89 mining for sarin stones, which will net you over 140k experience an hour with boost active and stuff. And that's really good. It's fully AFK. Yet again, you only need to click every five minutes. Uh, so you do not log out and you get your account in a good state. Uh, same goes for runecrafting. With runecrafting, for example... <laughs> You want to get to 90 and obviously runecrafting takes a little bit longer and is a huge money maker at the moment um but what you might want to do is level the level 77 to level 90 90 sorry um you want to do a blood runes which is decent experience an hour i think it's 150 so on double experience should be around 300k an hour um and you will just want to go to 90 because when you're 90 you can do soul runes which are off double experience i believe like 250 to 300k experience an hour enter afk as well and they will make you money as well not that much money because you don't craft that many an hour but still they will make you money and it's good experience so go look at the stats that you um that you want to get up like these like maybe focus on these first uh, because it generally might be worth it also buyables a very very important thing about buyables is that buyables are more expensive during double experience usually when it gets announced certain buyables like construction herb lore even crafting are skyrocketing and that makes sense because people are merching because that's what most people do with a lot of money they just like to merge your supply so there are two things you can do with buyables right you can buy the bullet and just do a, a buyable like you will probably still save money because yet again you only need half the supplies for the same amount of levels um but usually most buyables are actually quite fast so what you might want to be doing is buying your buyables at the end of this double experience so you can do them on the following double experience the following double experience is probably in three months because we're getting four years so that's every three months if you can do simple maths um, and why I'm telling you to buy it at the end of double experience is because usually people are dumping all their leftover supplies because they want to buy back their gear or they're just finished and they overcalculated or whatever, like they don't want to finish it or whatever. Like people are always dumping their supplies. So it's a good moment to buy your supplies for the next double experience. So you'll get them on the cheap and you won't 
have to worry about it for the next double experience. Yes, you will have them in the bank and yes, you won't have liquid money, but that might actually be a good tip as well to go for that. But um, yet again, don't do cooking. It's not worth it. And definitely focus on the things that you hate doing and the things that are easy to do just don't do it and that kind of leads into something else as well proteins you want to be doing your proteins i think that's the most obvious one that's why i leave it to the end because it is super obvious that you want to do your proteins because proteins are insane insane experience um there's a best way to use it Protex has a great guide which i will link in the cards if i don't forget it but it will definitely be in the description down below um about the best use and where you want to use them so definitely go check that out but pretty much a tldr too lazy didn't read the best use for your proteins are traps for hunter of course uh planks which is saving a lot of money during um construction training and heights because obviously crafting is quite expensive as well even though you can make money doing crafting on certain times so definitely go look into that as well but those are the best uses even bars and i mean locks are not that great and divination energy cogs are all not that great either so you don't want to focus on that so you might want to convert those also keep in mind you can go to the sawmill and get a one-to-one -one trade on logs uh to protein planks if you're interested in that but yeah yet again if you want more details on that definitely go check out protox video on it but i think that covers all the main tips in my opinion on double experience so good luck on your maxing grind good luck on getting your account in a state where you can eventually do the things off double experience like mining like fishing like room crafting and i hope you enjoyed this video if you think it was useful definitely leave a like leave a comment in the comment section down below subscribe if you are new and i really appreciate you guys hearing me out and i'll see you guys in my next video